Look, look at that. It's totally not added in post <laughs> if either. If I wanted to argue that, I would have. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> what? <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that gives us the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, on tours, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with this week. Oh man, I still have Jordan lined up. You guys can't see it, but he's covered in this big green and red square. It's kind of hot, but mm. look at the sword, man. It is there. Hey everyone, I'm Vin Stone, old man Vin, here at LGCX, we'll switch in the bits, doing the nightmare feel all under Linux each and every week. And, um... The Tamed Thunder himself. The Swordy Boy. S-word. S-word? T-S-word. <laughs> That's what they call him, man. For sure. Old I'll, 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 Svan. I'll, I'll you know, take S-words for 300 hours. You gotta watch yeah. out, because sometimes he's, he's got the t out, and uh, yeah. it's amazing. And uh, staying him late past his bedtime, you know, we love him, Pedro Mateus, all the way from the Island of Britannia. <laughs> Three of us, we get to hang out with you at home. Shot Realm Dynamic, joining us live in Discord and Twitch and all the other places. IRC, we always have to keep that. If you're doing anything related with Linux, you gotta have an IRC room, such as the case. Helping us form Cocaine Voltron. It's that lovable uh, demonetizing bit that we like to mention each and every week. What's up, lads? Um, we are tied this week because we always we got a little section in our show notes, right? We're right down saying, hey, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? We're, we don't talk a lot during the week and Fuck that section this week, man. Nobody, nobody put a thing in. <laughs> there wasn't much happening with me right up until, you know, a couple hours before the show where K. Wayne decided to memory leak. Fucking KDE, man. I couldn't hear you, man. I, I, I just, like, opened an XFC window and moved it around. Like it closed. <laughs> I, I, I mean, no, no, normally Wolfenstein tells you when you're out of video memory, so. Hey, man, listen, don't judge me just because I got six gigs. Wolfenstein does constantly. It was yeah. either the kernel or system D. One of the two basically saved me because by the moment that KWIN was using up like 14 gigabytes of memory, it's like pff, dead. <laughs> Here's what I want. I, ha I have a I have a game I want you to try. Jordan? Uh, okay. I, well, there, there's a motorbike game. That'll be lovely. It's made just for memory links. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it'll teach you to have a swap file. <laughs> So you, so you can have enough slow memory to catch it. Just the enough to like something is incredibly wrong. Let's I see have if I can... eight old gigabytes of it. <laughs> I have 32 because Debian's like, how much memory RAM do you have? That's how much your swap is now. I'm like, ow. That's <laughs> NVMe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Debian. What's yeah. new with you, Jordan? Uh, I mean, I, I, I posted this in Discord uh, yesterday. I... Went for a big squat day on Friday. I got up to 5:45 just in time for the gyms to shut down in Ontario for another month. I was, was I, I had my I had my next program picked out. How I are they doing? Ready it, to go? Because I you you said they had like little bubbles set up. Not not necessarily little bubbles, but they they limited the number of people in. Uh, you mm -hmm. had to wear masks in between exercises, and you had to clean everything before and after you used it. Okay. So so like it it, it was pretty reasonable. Um, and yeah, uh, the the province just came out. And they're like, yeah, uh, no warning. We're effective uh, nine a.m. tomorrow. Uh, gyms, bars, restaurants are all shut down. Uh, so, do you think you I'm, could I'm, do a bar in a gym? <laughs> a gym bar? Yeah. I, I don't know. Now, now I'm looking. I'm looking at uh, prices for squat racks. Uh, I'm looking at man, weights are expensive. Why? Why are they so can't, expensive? Can't you just like squat some kettlebells and then turn. I mean. I so the heaviest kettlebell I have is a thirty-two kilogram one. Mm -hmm. uh, if I got another one, like I can't get up high enough to where I was squatting before, even with doing front squats. But you can maintain a little bit, though, right? And go. I can. I can maintain. Well, so that that that's the idea with like the rock training now. Is now I'm gonna go pick up more rocks because that's <laughs> You're just the heaviest be a thing I can. Sentient bruise. Still yeah. haven't found that video. No. <laughs> no. No. Um, <laughs> moving moving rocks around and pushing cars in empty parking lots. That's what I have to go back to now. All right. Okay. That's not too bad. Uh, I, I'm, I'm unstacking. <laughs> no stacks. No, I, I was like, man, that's going to be a bit of work. I should have got started on that while Jordan was talking. I was like, oh, no, Jordan's finishing. Um. <laughs> so, what am yeah, I? So, uh, oh, you're still going. Jeez, I, I had time. 
I was just gonna say, be on the lookout for more videos of me moving rocks around, apparently. Apparently? That, <laughs> if, that, if that lady's gonna be filming me more, I don't know. Yeah, Do look up people in Canadian land on oh, Instagram. Wait, okay, <laughs> there you go, there you go. Just make sure you're wearing your Linux Gamecast apparel so you can put it on the back and be like, Jordan at! Use me! Right. Use me! <laughs> <laughs> so they know where to send it, man. Well, um, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm just gonna wear that pelvis shirt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it, it, it's gonna happen, man. I gotta, I gotta do the fanny packs too, dude. Um, this showed up today. Uh, if you, this is my brand new Golden Age Pre seventy three microphone amplifier. The eagle eyed among you, you might notice that. Wait a minute, that that's Lady Ada, Ada fruit box they, mm. they don't sell music I mean, you would be correct <laughs> this is what I ended up buying when i was like i'm gonna buy myself something and uh, well this is what we ended up getting this is uh the raspberry pi high quality camera the 12 megapixel sony deal with a pi zero w um so we got the wi-fi so i'm gonna see if i can make like a little webcam i thought people would get more entertainment out of uh seeing that plus uh, out of curiosity i wanted to see how it matches up against the d3400 a legitimate comparison because that was like 150 bucks, man, for all that crap. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing some videos and we'll, we'll see how that looks. That, that's really all I can't do anything with it. Even get a little card reader that showed up, didn't get any of my SD cards. So that's just a box right now. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm but at. I like to tinker around and build stuff. That's uh, something me and Pedro have in common. Except, you know, I guarantee you, I, I will get more use out of this Raspberry Pi Zero by Thursday than Pedro's ever. <laughs> Once the Pi Boy DMG case arrives, I might have something to say about might. that. <laughs> does it have clearance for the heatsink, though? It does. Not that one, but mm. uh, they do have an active one. You are one dead to me until you take inside. a Dremel to that case. <laughs> 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 that could happen that could very well happen we, it has to happen now we, I, we, i've spoken we, i've spoken we've definitely taken dremels to stranger devices we've taken some dremels to the horse though we've we've reorganized it and now it's like a super horse uh oh it's it's it's, it's got a, a head for a leg and a tail for a nose Fair it's enough. the steam God, God fucking damn it, shit ass piss motherfucking booger. Yeah, no, so, um, yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, oh, 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 a little late on that there, Ben. Yeah, so, um, chat filtering. Uh, we I'm talked sorry, about. Wait, what? <laughs> a little late on what, Jordan? <laughs> He's not muted either. He's doing the touch. I know. I, I, I'm <laughs> <laughs> interrupting uh, beep goes what? Interrupting beep goes moo. <laughs> yeah. So um, chat filtering. We talked about it a while ago. Uh, Valve has offered the ability now, uh, at least in the Steam uh, workshop, not the workshop, the labs, to um, essentially allow you to or to censor out most common swears and profanities and dirty words. Uh, you could. Disable it, you can fine-tune it so that you can get your selected level of profanity. If you're fine with shit but not fine with fuck, then you can adjust that. But yeah, uh, it's out by default now, um, so if you want, you can opt out of it and get exposed to the broad toxicity that is just the Steam community at mm. large. Or, you know, you can set up your own little filtering rules and turn so everything into pumpkins. one of the pumpkins. things I'm not even worried about, I'm curious about, all right, how does... The three of us, we'd never pay any attention. I mean... Wait, that's not like our generation, like sticks and stones, right? But people just say whatever they want. Is because they've always done the uh, censoring with into the forums and like on comments and stuff like that. This is that functionality just hasn't been in chat and like group chats and stuff. Mm -hmm. I get yes, um, and you know, you know, people get salty when they're playing games. They'll send messages to people, and you know, sometimes mm -hmm. you don't you want you don't want to get called racial slurs or homophobic slurs because you know you just want to play a computer game. So <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Canadian so internet's a different place, Pedro. <laughs> if I go uh, into Counter Strike level offensive right now, and I don't hear the N word being leveraged at me three times in a row, that uh, that's not okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's a that's a few. That's that's the entire point of this. I assume most people don't. But if that's your kink, Pedro, if you like being called the N word, 
<laughs> There's something wrong with you, but Steam Steam won't stop you from that happen. St- won't stop that happening for me. I Actually, guess. no. That that was uh, the moment that they introduced this change. I saw the uh, update that came on Steam. Okay, so how do we disable that? Because I, I I don't want my content filtered. I'll do the filtering myself. Thank you very much. So if Steam is going to be hands off, they should be hands off for everything. But apparently that doesn't apply to everything. Uh, so yeah, no. If you go to the exact same place in your account settings for the Steam store where you can disable the uh, violence and nudity filters, the the little blurry uh, bits that show up if you have them on. Then yeah, the option for chat filtering is right below those two. You can just disable it there. And yeah, no, I'd very much like to see all of those, please. Hey, all of them. That's the thing. If you want it, it's there. Make use of it. <laughs> Options are nice for people who want it. But something we were terribly excited about was the Left for Brad update. Left for Dead, like new campaign and first big update in 10 years. We were all kind of excited, weren't we? We were. We're like, all right. Mar- yes. mar- marginally excited. I was <laughs> more content. Was- <laughs> Curiosity counts as excitement in my world. Now, mm. then it came out, and I don't think I was alone when I stood back and I said, no, where's where's the popcorn? And this, is, this is not bad. It's short. It's, it's thing. It seemed um, like a whole lot of hype for two maps that well, weren't even all two- that big. Two two maps and the survival mode thing. That was the right. big update. Well, that, that was like the big focus is yeah. uh, how that rock and roll. Well, there's more to this story, apparently. Um, this <laughs> has stayed up on the forums. I, oh, it's been locked now, but yeah. <laughs> I was reading through this. This is from Batty. VNN got me kicked out of TLS dev team. Talk with Nightly Archangel about the last stand update disaster proof. Full conversation here. Basically, what I got out of this outside of the slap fight was none of that really concerned me, the drama and stuff, but this was like a slapdash team that was stuck together for like, what, 11 months? It ended up being like almost 20 people that were, um, what's the words I'm looking for, gentlemen? Compartmentalized? To like, people didn't even really understand. Isolated, I think, is more accurate. <laughs> Compar- <laughs> compartmentalized is, is the I, right I think term. That's the word. Right, like, right. you're told, hey, you're working on this one thing, but you're not told how it's going to work with this other thing. And you're not really in on the updates that have been made since we told you to work on that. You're out of that loop. So. Oh, in a vacuum. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, over, over specialization. It's, it's a thing that happens, especially. Um, when, when, when you try to apply like a large organization structure to a very small team like this, um, you, in, in a case like this, you probably want more communication. You want more cross functionality, but apparently they didn't do that. And there was a bunch of drama. I, I tried reading through it, but I, I could not care. I honestly, I read through all of it and the five or six updates that are currently on the, uh, original post at this point and it is basically the dude uh, got in touch with one of the developers that got kicked out of the team and um, the reason he got kicked out I couldn't actually make out if he got kicked out because he talked about uh, talked to Valve News Network about it or uh, if he'd already been kicked out before then and he was just reaching out to Valve, uh, Valve News Network to actually shine a light on whatever the hell was happening because he didn't know and no one was telling him so yeah no uh, i i'd still like that uh, that particular question answered please. pedro pedro you, you got to tell me who to sharpen my pitch for or i don't know that getting who, who can i be angry about about something i didn't even know i should be upset I'm, i don't care good luck because yeah. i couldn't figure it out <laughs> Gabe, let's let's all be upset about Gabe Newell. I was thinking about that earlier today, man. Like, G- Gabe just straight up owns Valve, owns Steam, like, no investors. Gabe would be like, you know what? We're closing tomorrow. No? Yeah. Well, at, at, at the same time, like, we can He'd hate on Gabe all we want. The pitch He's just going to leverage that. Him, but... <laughs> But like whatever, he's just gonna go cry into his giant pile of money, right? Like, oh no, it's just like the like the queen has the ability to strip disband parliament, having that like nope switch. Like mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, um, we're done. Close down. I recommend <laughs> go on. Hold new elections for a new Peace. one. Yeah. We're reinstating the monarchy. Yeah, fine, mm. we'll elect a better game <laughs> with blackjack and hookers. That's right. New version of Proton is out, and it's glorious and it's full of egg rolls and i want to give a talk about it because 
I can finally play a game that I genuinely give negative fucks about. That game is Mafia 2, but what do we have? Uh, they fixed regression that caused upstream pinning issues with Vulcan Patch. For Horizon Zero Dawn, because people like that, Serious Sam 4. Proton mm -hmm. Fix. Apparently that didn't solve all of your issues, though, Jordan. Well, so it's fixed one of them, but there's still some ongoing issues with that. Uh, there, If you get into the game, there's a bunch of texture flickering. They haven't fixed that, but now at least the game launches um, with uh, DirectX 12 and DirectX 11. Uh, no Vulcan on NVIDIA under uh -huh. Linux. You're still shit out of luck there. Uh, they're 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 working on that, but that's apparently not working. So if you if you you get you get the Dix Vix, you get the VKD 3D, no native Vulcan. That's very very sad. You know, we get that definitely like throws me back. Remember when we were um, playing through it when Vulcan was first coming to um, the Serious Sam um, remaster? Yeah, and with the uh, Fusion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you had some rainbow textures going on at some point. We, every, every everyone did. Uh, we ran into the, them occasionally. I mean, that was just like, oh look, there's one of those things. Yeah, so like, switch back to OpenGL and the problems fixed. The performance drops, but you know, I can actually see what I'm shooting at. <laughs> I think I think there was like straight up at one point you're just like, yeah, no, everything's black. I can't see a damn yeah, thing. Yeah, everything. Thing just yeah yeah all textures gone it was great yeah. but then you couldn't tell us like is this intentional or not but back to my point with um mafia mafia 2 definitive edition which i somehow own i'm guessing that was in a bundle at some point but i wanted to play around with it and last week i tried it it just spite nope told me to get wrecked it's like, fine i didn't want to play it anyway then this came out so i downloaded another 40 gigs of mafia and it started if you monkey around with the um screen resolution it runs very well as a 10 year old game should but uh yeah that's playable i can finally get my not uh, gta dick tracy on and the uh thing that stood out to me were the bunch of fixes for native uh vulcan titles that you're playing through proton because they don't have a linux version uh they a lot of them have been fixed and they will work natively except for Sirius M4. Uh, <laughs> one of the ones that they fixed is one that I've been meaning to get back into at some point, which is Path of Exile. Uh, that game, I played played the open beta when it was still an open beta for a long, long time, and then the game actual came out, and I went full hipster and never touched it again. <laughs> I'm going to ask, um, Jordan, you're on ecstasy, yes. uh, like I am. Uh, I is, yeah. You've also downloaded Proton GE, right? Mm -hmm. Did you ever notice like the weird thing? Um, I'm going to say even like as recent as the last version, where your monitors kind of cycled when you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah! Okay. This fixes. It's that not shit. just an XFC thing. Uh, all okay. right. Well, it was that's... also happening in KD. All right. <laughs> that shit. A scary. But it, it, the, it is. Yeah, we we come from the dark eight, dark the long ago, man. When that the, meant, the SDL oh, one point two mm, days, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that that was like, oh, let's go SSH into the box, see if we can get it back up. But um, I didn't notice that with this, so that that's an improvement. That's mm -hmm. good. That's, that's very good. <laughs> oh, hopefully, that gets into like mainline Proton level well, yeah, quickness. Well, well, well regular Proton, Proton doesn't, do, doesn't do this. The yeah, yeah, the big thing with the only, the only issue. Here's what was a real issue is if it died in a fire when it was at like some 720p resolution. That looks really interesting on a 48 inch monitor, by the way. Mm. <laughs> the pixels are about yay big. Yeah, because it's on the virtual <laughs> desktop and you're like, well, yep. I, that that's an H. <laughs> I didn't know there was an H in Mafia. Oh, man. Yeah, it's silent. It's next to the seven. Mafia. Yeah. Cyber Mafia. Mafia. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, from Proton, uh, the um, glorious egg roll version, to something that's just designed to complement any version of Proton that you happen to want to run. This is the Steam compatibility, uh, well, it's Steam Tinker launch, and it is now uh, able to be used as a compatibility tool, just like you would install... Um, Glorious Egg Roll, uh, that particular version of Proton, you can now when install was the last time uh, STL. You installed an Egg Roll, Pedro. Uh, into my mouth a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, it's been that. Have you yes. been without Egg Roll for a couple of weeks? Delicious I, Egg Roll. I, 
I, I don't actively seek out egg rolls. Uh, they're, Why not? They are Wait, something I enjoy, no, no, but no, I don't no. actively seek them okay. out. <laughs> does Does Nori have to like sneak him like in like hide him in cheese? And, like give them to him. Well, no, 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 pills, and well, I'm certainly well, well, not well, a dog. <laughs> while, while he's sleeping, she just like drops the egg roll in his mouth and rubs his throat a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, she puts the egg roll in his hand and tickles I'm his nose. I'm pretty sure someone's getting off to that particular mental picture right now. Or, but no. or, 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 or she she blends it up and like pours it into your mouth with like a funnel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, no, STL is uh, very much that tool that we've talked we've talked about the last couple of versions, and it basically makes configuring like each and every single game just a matter of editing the configuration file rather than having to set everything up in uh, from the Steam launch options or having to download a bunch more stuff. It basically just applies all of those fixes directly by just adding stl command into the launch file and then you can set the per game options from the configuration or as the new version introduces it you can install it like you would uh proton ge drop it into the compatibility tools uh folder in steam and then you pick that and it'll always launch with that with whichever version of uh, proton you have stl set to run the games with so that's very good they have a tray icon too if you like those <laughs> seems a bit redundant a to have tray a tray icon you tray. say wow yeah. now i'm sold <laughs> i i guess maybe maybe it gives you the option if you want to like globally set like a proton version or something i don't know yeah i mean it, it's it's a handy little project because you know if you go over pro any like given article on proton db there's a lot of optimizations that need to happen at times so it's good to have all of these sort of i think that's fantastic collated. for everyone oak so i my give a fuck a meter Boy, does it start slamming towards zero if I have to do anything more than, um, man, I don't do anything these days. That, that, there we go. Mango Hut. That's it. I'll add that. Mm. <laughs> this, this one, this that's one will fair. be Mango yeah. Hut, though. <laughs> that, that's Anyways, the extent uh, of it, man. I, that's, I, I'm, I'm spoiled, man. If I hit play mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, you gotta work. Nope. You get uninstalled. Yeah, uh, so there's, the, there's a new Steam client out there, uh, stable version. We've been covering the, uh, beta that uh or the betas that have been coming out and uh yeah now they're they're all prime time so if you've been holding back on a beta update because it's been breaking your steam games well too fucking bad hey man listen <laughs> i want you to install this uh wolfenstein game real quick just right yeah, yeah live a little but for, first you gotta log into bethesda net yep. yeah so it, it adds the chat <laughs> filtering to prime time like we discussed uh the library improvements um they fixed the crash for steam networking uh there's uh, some metal fixes for DNS steam overlay. resolution and container runtime mode yay yeah we, we 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 talked about that at length as well that's the big linux update here is the containerized scout runtime and the progress they're making trying to get you know GPUs working in a containerized environment. That's that's always a fun task. You got like a little uh, bit of mode, man. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's out now. So, like I said, if it's breaking any of your games, well, <laughs> sucks. I'm to down you. with that, man. Were you running that um, Thursday when we were playing the latest? Or uh, do you run beta or? Um, you know what? It changes from week to week depending on what's broken. I'm apparently not in the beta right now. Uh, I, had right. Double, I had to double check. I, I was some, curious as to what the like. Which is brew we had set up because normally it is like, okay, you log into Bethesda. That, yeah, we're talking about through a browser, just on a computer for whatever reason. Prime we, the tubes. We, we cycle this <laughs> a few times and eventually it works. This just worked out of the box last week. So was, then, then Jordan, uh, your, your box locked up or something. You had to reboot. So Some, Something yeah, like that. Yeah. It, it, it extracted its pound of flesh. It's and what's hilarious too is that it's never like whenever I want to play games with other people, it's you on Thursday specifically. Yeah. This it, it keeps us on our toes, man. This is the, the game is just the play session. The twenty the, the, plus the, years of Linux knowledge is required each and every week. The the the, the real stream is the twenty minutes before the stream. Right. Like shit, why isn't this working anymore? Fuck. Exactly. It's like really. Oh, okay. So we're dealing with this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> Gamer Gotta Ross. go fast. Go oh, yeah, Gamer yeah. Ross. It's a thing that we've also been covering for a while. And uh, version 20, it's out. Uh, it's that arch, but totally not arch, according not to arch. the developers. Show me, show me on arch. the dull where it says it's arch. 
<laughs> but you're running on top of Arch. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, it is uh, the new versions now. It's got Kernel 5.8, it's got Mesa 20.1.8, and the NVIDIA 450.66 drivers. So basically, just the standard update that I wish Valve would do to the official SteamOS image, but they seem to stop caring about that uh, the this new version comes with the sega 32x sega cd and the epic game store uh compatibility so you'll be able to just sideload those games into your steam os type of big picture you're not going to be able to use the controller though again no, S- S- no. S-O-L. with the epic store no i can't yeah. do that <laughs> yeah no that, that that's one of the big uh, no workies they've listed in the patch notes here as well gentlemen mm-hmm. help me out refresh my memory um gameras it's not when it's not fighting gojira um what do i use it for <laughs> doing is it an application is it like lutris or is it like it's, play like, on it's, linux? it's, it's like play on linux it's a linux distribution oh it's a distribution like yes. play on linux all right it, it's a full-on distribution like play on linux but it, it is basically trying to be what uh, steam os hasn't been for a long long time which is an up-to-date living room operating system <laughs> for your arch in, in <laughs> danger of like bursting into flames if you install the wrong r Basically, <laughs> yeah. I, I, as this we discussed, it, it that's, your fault. Like, that's your it fault. That's your fault. Not- <laughs> by the way, hashtag but yeah, cares. No, th- This one is just trying to be a self-contained thing, and all the end user will see is the Steam Big Picture mode, and this makes it much easier if you want to say side sideload other games like emulator games for RetroArch, and um. The Epic Game Store for some reason. How many games were released with 32X? I had a 32X too. I've no idea. <laughs> I have a Sega 32X games. I have Corpse Killer on Sega CD 32X, and I had the Star Wars game. Uh, <laughs> not, not a lot, actually. Holy shit. It had to be under uh, 50, right? It's like 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Okay, that 10, might take a while. 11, 12, 12. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah Gameros is one of those uh, <laughs> operating systems that I am tempted to try, and I will eventually put a proper NVMe drive in the Steam box, because, yeah, it's a 500 gigabyte M.2 SATA SSD in there right now, which is fine, but it would be nice to have proper NVMe just so I know that it's proper NVMe and it stops bugging me in my brain. 40. So... When I do that, 40. Uh, when I do that, I will most likely install Gamrus. That 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 will be a thing. <laughs> well, you know you know what they say. Gamrus is friend to children, so <laughs> it's 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 really neat. It's made of turtle meat. We believe in Gamrus. <laughs> Gamrus. Gamrus. So, whoa. Um, one thing that I noticed earlier this week, I'm trying to get to it. Steam's being a butt, man. Steam's saying I'm not old enough to look at the Sega page. <laughs> no, you're 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 like twelve, right, dude? Uh, so Mega Drive Classics, that thing happened, right? Sega, yes. <laughs> and I, I even uh, streamed a little bit of that. Right here we go! Yay! I made it work. Uh, it's out. We, we talked about it way back when. So apparently, this thing came out in 2010. What? <laughs> Yeah, the original I, yeah. Mega Drive Classics came out in about 2010, yeah. <laughs> now, we rapped about it strictly because, hey, man, it's available for Linux. And it was. I'm like, hey, that's the thing you can definitely do. There's a bundle. You can get all the games for like 772 But Sega is having a birthday, anniversary birthday. So you up, can pick up. up Sonic for the low, low price of absolutely free. Nice. Mm-hmm. Which I did. <laughs> Holy hell, that interface is bad. That we're talking like <laughs> it, it. It would make Microsoft Bob bad. Microsoft Home, the origin of Clippy. Yeah. Do you remember those? <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Like, oh, look up uh, your books library and click on that. It's mm-hmm. that type of shit, except worse. Also, mm. also my anemic little twenty sixty can't handle that fucking room. On Gotta high. go fast, man. Gotta go fast. <laughs> it can. It can. You can turn six. that off. <laughs> no, you, you, At you, least you used to be able to. You, you can dial it back to like medium <laughs> on medium. I couldn't hit sixty in the room. Did Mind you have you. a battle axe in your room when you were a kid? Yes. Wow, lucky spoiled peasant. Pen. <laughs> I had a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing you can play it there's a bunch of options uh you can keep adding games to your collection i think you can get good old golden axe uh 
Ninja, what's it? What was it called? Ninja Shinobi. Gaiden. Or should I have Shinobi? Yeah. yeah Shinobi. Shinobi. Ninja Gaiden was um, Shinobi Nintendo. Gaiden. Or Sony. <laughs> Shania Twain, professional ninja. Yeah. I'd play that game. <laughs> No, hey, you, I have. You, I already had um, Sega Mega Drive Classics because of Comic Zone. Because at one point in my life, I was obsessed with that game, and then it came out on Steam, and I got it, and I played all the way through. It's like, oh, I don't remember the game being this short. It is okay. currently eighty-seven percent <laughs> off, man. Like, even if you want to, it's normally eighty-one bucks. It's currently seven seventy-two. If you want to drop it on that, now I remember we were talking about it. A, it came to Linux, but it also has multiplayer. Mm. Now, this is something I need to bring up because we're like, oh, you it has multiplayer, but it turns out it has RNG multiplayer. And I was like, well, that's fucking mm. useless because we yep. only want to play. But wrap your minds around this, ladies and gentlemen. It also now supports Steam Remote Play. Mm. Oh, we might play Everything some- supports Steam Remote Play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 I mean, I mean, what do you they, say to uh, maybe we could do like a little golden axe or something? What maybe, games maybe have like more than two players on Genesis? Man, shit. Was there even like a multi tap on Genesis? I don't, I don't think there was. Like, so uh, the, 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 micro machines would like a word with you. Well, okay, uh, make with some fucking words because I don't know. <laughs> yes. No, you All gotta right. do it like the micro machine guy. That's way too slow. <laughs> I'm on crystal man. <laughs> That's the thing. What do we have up next? Uh, we got a couple of new games. Thanks to uh, we're doing the game festival thing. That's kind of a thing. And it seems mm-hmm. like yo, everybody release some demos. Uh, demos. Festival demos. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the same thing that they did last year. It's uh, the autumn festival is basically demos all around so if you want to try a game before it comes out now is the time to do it because Sometimes most of them like, have uh, demos available the games will be like oh the g- it'll be up at the end of 2020 and then other ones are like 2022 eventually i don't know <laughs> Come, coming coming soon to it right <laughs> but yeah this first one is spell carts and if you're looking at that and going that looks a lot like super tux card that's not the only game <laughs> you know, so I mean, that, we will be you, talking you know, about that's, this. That's, that's Pedro, most, Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. That's I, most kart racers. I'm going to walk up to you like the original um, SNES. Uh, Mario Kart slap you with it. Like, looks like what? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, at, yes. at the end of the day, uh, any, any, any kart racer, Crash 3D, Bandicoot, not just the Sprite Sonic 3D, races. like well, the original. Look, now, and, uh, yes, I mean, one. these guys have on like fucking uh, Ginyu Force outfits. I mean, it's true yes. they do <laughs> i want i want and to play they don't even pretend let the power-ups are anything other than magic because it's called spell cards you, you cast spells on the other racers and you have a mana bar and you have a health bar so yeah they try to include the um the rpg elements let's call them that into a card game and i'm not entirely sure that works but okay all right it's still in early access so by the time it comes out proper i may have a look at it i i had to take the pepsi challenge with us i'm going to say if we're being extremely generous and or kind um it was a very basic demo it's like a track with a fence around it that you can kind of spin around and uh i didn't know that unity actually had a vaseline shader until i played this game hmm you know, I, I, I'm accustomed to the film grain hide mistake shader, but uh, yeah, this is this is like straight up beauty shot, like little Vaseline on the lens. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm just happy to see like people are putting out games with actual online multiplayer instead of just relying on Steam Remote Play. And it's it, it's a little thing, but like we've been screaming about it for eight fucking years now. I would hope that like we get some results. The um. It's available for Windows, Linux, and there you go. Next story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Skel- Skellboy Refractured. Uh, yeah, so it's an action RPG. It's another one of these uh, uh, game festival, autumn festival things that has a demo as well. And it's kind of got a, a bit of a Paper Mario vibe. Uh, with the really? three. This, this is like not turn-based, and it's no, 3D. It's a, yeah, it's... Um, well, I, I mean, the Paper Mario in terms of like 2D characters with like the 3D backgrounds. Sort Largest of thing. game for the N64. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, it's there. It's a hack and slasher. It looks all right, honestly. Um, it's kind of got a cute little hipster pixely aesthetic. Um, like the. Like <laughs> 3D the, the hipster depth, pixel. 
the depth the depth in the lighting actually looks like really good. Uh, I, I definitely want to give this has a deeper the look. Same style. What was it like? Igabu. There was this e- game. Like oh yeah, 10 e- years Igabu. Ago. Yeah, Igabu. That 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 was a native Linux game actually. That was uh, was never finished. It was always like ah, we we would talk about it like once every six months back in the old days. Indeed. <laughs> I tried it, uh, downloaded it. Uh, this is going to be released 2020. This is from Omac Games. And mm. hey, it might be. Maybe. I don't know. You can say whatever. I know I was going to judge on that. Uh, you might. I'm going <laughs> to gonna be honest with you. You might want to skip the uh, two minutes of, like, uh, you know, credits and the uh, Ubuntu. Oh, that I said Ubuntu 13. <laughs> right at the beginning of the game because i almost tapped out like, i want to try your demo and they're like oh developed by it. oh and this guy worked on it this i'm like that means fucking nothing to me i haven't played your game yet oh i i <laughs> hate front-loaded credits in games it, like uh w- the, the Game of Thrones shares that this week does something kind of similar, not quite, but I, I hate it when they're just like, yeah, we got to sit through about 20 minutes of credits before you get to the actual game. Before you get to the menu where you can change the fucking screen resolution, we got to like sit through this intro mm-hmm. and do a little playable Metal bit. Gear Solid would like a word with you? I didn't <laughs> like it there. I'm a big Metal would Gear you, fan and I'll <laughs> criticize it based on that. Pedro, yeah. <laughs> why, would you put your bag of freakish talking games like back in the closet <laughs> while we're doing the show? No. No, they're out and proud, man. You you can't you can't shame them back in the closet. They they want to live their lives and talk. They they, they want they want to have words. Yes, but be, Pedro, baby. Pedro, you gotta let them speak for themselves. Stop like stop gatekeeping them. Let, let them uh, let them express Eternia themselves. Adventures. If anything, I'm enabling them because I'm telling you that they'd like a word with you. <laughs> is now broadcasting this, uh, live and you can watch the developers play as we're doing right now and my first thought like you at home you're sitting there going is that a bagpipe where's the close button no yeah. that's not a bagpipe that's a flamingo you <laughs> A, fl- a, fl- a flamingo guitar? <laughs> Lamingo. Yes, it, it, it's a flute mingo. I don't I, know what it actually it is. Looks, but... it looks, well, you know, if I was going by the color style, I would say, what'd you do to Fortnite? <laughs> it turn, it they is. turned it into it Warcraft. It absolutely does uh, I, lo- uh, look a lot like oh, Fortnite. Shit. But no, is this it's what happened Elteria. to Crazy Justice? No. No, no, no. This is Elteria. It's a sandbox MMORPG where you do the crafting like in Fortnite and you do the action like in Fortnite and you do the massive multiplayer online thing God like in damn, Fortnite. damn, Sailor Moon's got weird. All right. So creepy. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's a high fantasy MMORPG, supposedly. Um, does, it's, that, does that uh, the, edge lord ass character like speak to you, Pedro? Not really. Uh, in fact, in, that in whole dreams, aesthetic, it in that whole aesthetic that I, they show in the screenshots and the video with the developers playing and whatnot, that doesn't speak to me at all. If anything, that makes me go, <gasps> no. Yeah. And they don't have a planned release date yet. Uh, they say, oh, planned release date coming soon. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I mean, so, I, don't, I don't know. We, we, we have a, we have a like, real dearth of MMOs look, look under Linux. fucking though. clouds and shit. Come on. I mean, <laughs> what hey. do you want? Do you, do you need it to talk to you? It looks more like Fortnite. If I mean, anything, yeah. It just keeps looking more and more like Fortnite. <laughs> it looks like it looks like Fortnite, but it's the thing. We don't have a lot of MMOs under Linux. And any anything that's, you know, trying to fix that, I think is a step in the right direction, even if no one's going to really play it. Uh, but, you know, there's a demo. You can try it out. Maybe it's your thing. Maybe you want to... Maybe monsters. you believe in the project. Maybe you just want to hang out with some tentacles. W- wiggle uh, monsters. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. What are our requirements? Um, 1404, dual core, 3 gigs, 8 gigs. Right. Re- re- right. Reasonable specs. Yeah. Fair warning. Uh, I don't know, man. I think that's like a very unrealistic requirement. Is a broadband internet connection. Now, every, everyone's still on dial-up. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> MMOs, man. What MMOs do we have native on? Like Rhizome? Uh, we, 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 we had that Albion Online one. Yeah. Uh, 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 Albion is still going, yeah. <laughs> there, there, there's a couple, but no, nothing really high profile. Every, every, yeah, everyone none of the like, big ones are here, and like whenever we see a big release for an MMORPG, uh, it usually doesn't come to Linux. And well, Ragnar- sure. Ragnar- Ragnarok Online had a Linux client, didn't it? At one point? Here's, the, here's the thing, though. It usually doesn't survive a you know, first year, no matter what it is, because it's, hey, look, yeah. it's another not wow. 
Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, so I, I mean, so Lord of the Rings Online is still going relatively strong. <laughs> Dungeons and Consider. Dragons Online so, still going. Star, Star Wars, Star Wars it's is still, still going. going. But then you have like <laughs> big ass titles like that Star Wars game and the Conan Online shit. That are they gone pulled? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, the Old Republic <laughs> went free to play a while ago. Yeah. And I, I guess whoever was running the Conan MMO Did couldn't afford all the dick physics. Amazon with their lumberyard <laughs> game. They uh. Put out the last update, you know, the one they released in July for like 20 seconds. Like, oh, shit. Uh, it's not done yet. So they rolled it back. And uh, yeah, they came out today. And like, oh, yeah, we're, we're going to give everyone refunds for that. Take two. Ugh, yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's oh. no good. Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> it, it's it's something to play online with your friends under Linux without Steam Remote Play. Coming up next. It's so spooky. It's so spooky, it's going to make you, I don't know, switch to Grounded. running FreeBSD. The news will be right with you, but before we do that, we need to uh, I know basically... We've had a unicorn wizard, do you think we could have a dragon wizard? I think uh, most 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 old dragons are wizards. Also, or at least if there was a dragon yeah, been wizard, long would, enough. would it be a requirement for it to be voiced by Sean Connery? Yes. Okay. Um, and Sean Connery half of its heart and uh, yeah Sean, Sean, Con <laughs> Sean Connery it, or, like, or Benedict Cumberbatch ooh yeah because oh. we uh, smog yeah here we go it, it, it's split personality dragon we could have both. oh it yeah. flips between the two okay. we could be greedy <laughs> yeah Benedict oh uh, no 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 better yet Connery. better yet better yet no no no, no 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 hang it, on motherfucker it, 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 I got it. I got this I got this <laughs> Exactly. All right. So, <laughs> check this out. One of the dragons has a goatee. He's evil. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, if 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 you, if you want to talk about dragon goatsy, you've come to the wrong Discord channel. Uh, head on over to PinLinuxGameCast.com. Put your mouse over the support button. That that that'll allow you to enable this sort of content want, on a do weekly you want basis. To support dragon goats. Dragon Ball Goatsy. Yeah. Ask your ask your parents if you can support Dragon Goatsy. Yeah, they would um, be like, I understand what Dragon is. What's Goatsy? He's like, I'll oh, just search for it, Ma. I, 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 you know what? <laughs> these days, these days, parents might be old enough to get Goatsy. It's true. Yeah, there's parents out there that have been around for that time. And and, and anyways, had a, put when, put your mouse over the, the support. The internet was a safer, simpler place. <laughs> you, you you mean you mean never? <laughs> What orifice is crystal <laughs> and not be judged? Indeed. Yeah. Uh, so any. So anyways, if that doesn't inspire you to give us money, I don't think anything will. T-shirts. Uh, yeah. Buy, buy some t-shirts at store.linuxgamecast.com um, or stickers. Fanny packs coming soon? Question mark. Also, we got uh, co uh, coffee mugs as well. We got to do the. Um, um, hey man, uh, we got them. We wear them. They're kind of brilliant. Uh, coffee mugs. Jordan was said. We have to do the 2020 Hill Santa shirt, so I'm open mm -hmm. for designs. Uh, if so, if you maybe want to submit one, yeah, I'll give you yeah, for a shirt so. if it's good. Send us some hate mail. Put put it under. Um, what, what, smang it? Did you add smang it to the uh, to the hate mail? Not, not yet. Just use the contact form. <laughs> don't don't go flipping out in chat. Be like, if I could only find a way to get a hold of you. If you're not, if you can't pass that list, yeah. li li contact. Yeah. Let yeah. this uh, test. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of litmus test, we got a Patreon, patreon.com slash next gamecast. It's the best way to support us because creators you get cool stuff. how to get started on Patreon. Join us for a live demo. Thank you. Uh, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> may, 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 maybe not. We're incapable uh, of learning. <laughs> Indeed, uh, but you're capable of uh, getting access to the pre pre super shows and an extra hour of Linux game con. Linux game <laughs> yes. con cast? No, just straight up con. Linux game con. con! The Linux game con. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, we, 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 got the, we got the man boobies. Um, yeah, you can get access to the show notes. Uh, you can get access to our Discord channel. Uh, lots of cool stuff. You can even buy your way on the goddamn show if you really want. We got okay. we to thank, uh, thank Vigilant Viking and Darkwing, uh, who are our latest Patreon. Motherfuckers, so, we got to drop it down right because Darkwing's been around for a long time, man. Darkwing's like, yo, man, I, I want to strengthen I wanna strength this relation. Do you know what I remember about Darkwing? I remember one episode because... My childhood brain was like, the fuck is this? He went back in time because it was Darkwing with fucking dinosaurs. Mm. <laughs> this happened. I'm not because later in life, I wouldn't search this. It's like, all right, wasn't doing the drugs back then. Oh, so, yeah. Dar Darkwing Duck was uh, was a bit of a trip. Dis Disney after school cartoons. Also, man. isn't that like um, canonically known as like the worst game ever on the uh, Jaguar? Was dark or was it? 
It was some game console. Somebody will show you. You, you know, you know what? I, I, I wouldn't not believe that, but I, I can't give right. you an answer one way or another. So I, I want to throw some love uh, his way. He uh, increased his pledge. He's now in the hole, Chicago hole, kicks ass. Chicago's kicks ass is 666. Happy, not evil when it does handstands. And Fulgen um, Viking has joined um, Advisor. Advisor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is awesome, man. Because you know, I know sometimes it's tough for people, and like, we, like, hey, man, I, I can't burn the cash. Which is that's fine, you know. That's awesome. I get it, man. Trust me, I do. But we've had some people like walking. We've like, heard. Much appreciate it. Stepping up the game, <laughs> like, hey, it keeps us going. If you like our brand of our shit, <laughs> Dragon Ball Goat C. Yeah. Dra- nope. Dragon Ball Goat C. <laughs> All right. Let's okay. Get hang on. I'm hey, pretty hang sure on. that exists. Nope. Yeah, exactly. That, that, we were going to do the bet on that. I was like, animated or 3D? I mean, we can, yes. prob- we can probably pick. Yeah, and, there's and probably it, a source filmmaker version of it, too. There, yeah. there, there are probably three versions, each with director's cuts. Right. Let's be real. Very right, beautiful people. Uh, let's talk about some dolphins. Make it talk, yeah. So, uh, emulator uh, progress report of the week uh, starts right now with Dolphin. Yeah, so they actually have uh, the July, August, and September 2020 uh, progress reports all rolled up into one, and it is... Boy, that's a big one. Uh, yeah, they... They go on detail into all of the improvements that they've been doing. There's been a lot of improvements for the Android version specifically, which was bad. Why is this converting it things? <laughs> it needs to convert things because Android has its limitations. Why, why does it want to bring j- just in time into my relationship? Just in time is a big one because they were using... They had issues with their just-in-time uh, compiler and the cache that it used because it kept running out of cache. So uh, they, what they did was, I don't well, know. According to the does. people on Reddit that tell me a game runs fine, this is this is perfect. I don't see a well, problem. Well, well, yeah. Well, well, the the, the interesting <laughs> yeah. problem with that too is like with the N64 emulation where they had a JIT running inside a JIT and that just completely yes. fucked shit up. <laughs> Yeah, but with this one, they had um, they basically what they did to try and work around the cache running out. Uh, they just increased the size, but that wasn't a very good long term solution. So now they've decided to actually go in and fix it. Fuck so that wall. my question, yeah, my question here is. Uh, in the land of SSDs, you know, pretty fast SSDs and 32 gigs or 16 gigs even of RAM, wouldn't it be okay to just have the entire game in the just-in-time cache and just let it happen? Would you just, like, take a moment and just enjoy the Pixel Kitty? <laughs> that, that's the other one that I put in the notes because uh, uh, that's the, the, the blurred cat out from pussy, uh, Monster yeah. Hunter Try. Uh, the cat from Monster Hunter Try is... Um, I didn't realize that the uh, the Wii games were you know 480p. What? For the people watching at 144p, <laughs> don't know what the fuck we're on about. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, 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 but no, but like that's the thing for the people who are watching 144p at 144p. Those people don't have computers that can stick the entire JIT cache on disk. So yeah, there needs to be some sort of optimization here. Um, so yeah, uh, they they have a solution. We'll see how well it works. Uh, the the big news here though, uh, they have free BSD support now. So uh, games are coming to ruin your productivity, free BSD users. Oh boy. Okay. I'd be done with that, man. Uh... Yeah, you're not safe anywhere. Do you? Uh, I I've, I've tangoed with <laughs> Dolphin. Man, I had like a quad core. Like last time I tangoed with Dolphin, I was like, oh, this will clearly run. Is it still so heavily um, dependent on single thread? Yep. Uh, yeah. They were yeah. the ones who put out the uh, thing, I think it was like three weeks ago that we talked about, um, that they said that the Intel processors were still better for emulation. Wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. 5090X. <laughs> yeah, was that before like uh, Dr. Sue walked out and just like <laughs> dropped it on the table? To be fair, that was yesterday. So. <laughs> oh, so no, they, the, they know they it, uh, you know, with unreleased <laughs> processors they don't have and Intel's like, just keep on saying that. Yes. <laughs> okay. Man. All right. Tell me about uh, DXVK. Well, they got a new version out, uh, one seven two. The ha- it has one thing that I'm super excited about: Baldur's Gate three fixes. Man, I am so excited to pay eighty dollars for that game. Uh, so yeah, Fucking now you can. Larian. 
Right now, now you can now you can actually play the game and get past character uh, selection. Um, there was also a big DX9 regression that um, they fixed that has a wide impact on a large number of games. Uh, so that has fixed a lot of things. And uh, yeah, apparently AMD VLK, you know the proprietary driver that AMD yeah, provides, man. doesn't really implement the Vulkan API properly. So <laughs> there were some issues they needed to work around. They did make a note <laughs> saying that Marvel's Avengers. Um, it's kind of working. It had some spurious crashes, but man, that game did exactly like I think everybody knew it was. It was like, these aren't the regular people. They're like copies. It, like, soon as no, you the, like, it, close it, up, they didn't pay for the rights. It's like the likeness. scene from it's like the scene from Spaceballs where they capture their stunt doubles instead Dude, of like the actual guys. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> fucking Atlantic Rim is what it is, and it they just dropped off a cliff. I mean, it dropped like under a thousand players. But um, what I want to say about this is uh Baldur's Gate 3. You're looking forward to that, aren't you? Oh, you have no idea. No idea. So, I, uh, how long do you think it's going to take? Because we I was having a conversation earlier about um, early access, which it was brought to my attention. Star Citizen, year eight, early access. Mm. Then was brought to my attention. Not one, not two, but three fucking Star Wars films have been made and released. In the time, Star Citizen has been in early access. Mm-hmm. I mean, ho- hopefully, the time will result in it be- being better than those Star Wars movies. Well, a lot of the mo- mm-hmm. this was that connection was brought into because um, Luke did some yeah. mocap work eight years ago. Yeah, they did. Like, I remember have that. To redo that? <laughs> or- <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Mm. But yeah, uh, it's out for your consumption. Hopefully, it'll be melded into Glorious Egral or a Proton release soon. What was can, our uh, What were our thoughts on like just cause? Because I've I've looked at the game several because it goes on like stupid. Like that's a bug. that's a fuck around simulator, man. That's I, well, like the ones that do work. I mean, is is there a game game in that too? Or there yeah, is like, a game game, but it is mostly focused around the fuck around bit. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, I mean, the, the game the game is just missions which give you the impetus to fuck around some more and to figure out ways to fuck around to get to the objective but that's really what it's there for is like i'm gonna fly a plane and then hook shot onto another plane and then hook shot onto a building and hook shot onto the first basically plane. i'm driving a mini there's a helicopter doing a low flyby you hook shot onto that you hijack it then you crash it into a base that, it's, uh, it's, dude, it's, it's basically sounds, bionic yeah like it's, it's it's bionic commando gta man it's pretty sick i might have to play around with it i mean it definitely sounds like uh what does the wise sage once say some motherfuckers always try to skate uphill Sounds yeah. like that guy, but you know what? The, Fuck the, heroes. The, 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 they, they got a they got a Part multiplayer two, mod for that too. Yeah. For heroes, yeah, it's a uh, free heroes of Mad Magic. Uh, they got a new version out. It's not a two. Uh, they've completely redone the AI, uh, which is kind of neat considering you know. Might and Magic 2 came out back in the 90s. Um, they've also c- apparently cleared out 100 bugs for that release. It's a very specific number. Um, usually when I see that, I'm like, oh, so they just cleared out all the easy stuff and all like the game-breaking shit is still like filed as won't <laughs> fix. I don't, I don't know. Um, but they also have a new save game format. So uh, if you're going to upgrade to this version, your save will not be backwards compatible. I played a little bit of this back in the day. Um, it's... It was weird. I, I never really got into it as a kid, but I know it has a really, really big, like, diehard fan base. So it's good to see that, like, in terms of game preservation, this is being continually developed. Right. And they do make a point if you uh, <laughs> are currently, you get to download, like, some VC redistrib if you're running it on 32-bit Microsoft. I'm like, okay. Ugh. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> They're yeah, still, they're still making C, those? you need to have all of the uh, versions installed if you're hoping to run any kind of game. <laughs> I honestly, yep. I don't know. I do know. I saw earlier this week somebody on, in the fart comments talking smack because they were talking about something being broken with Windows 10 and one of the tech subs. And he's like, "Oh, yeah, you don't run Windows 10. You stick with Windows 7. You don't upgrade like a punk." And isn't that EOL? Yep. Oh, it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. So good. Good luck running it on like modern hardware with like drivers. And... Is it, do you, okay under and over? Like we're talking like regular person. We're not talking about like your great grandpa, regular person. Somebody like is legitimately like you're not going to trick me, Microsoft. Running XP. 
Yes, I, 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 XP is a bit of a hard sell. This, this is, okay, they're, they're legitimately running it. This is their day in, day out, and it's not their retro battle station. I know that there's you, like a few libraries in Portugal that are still running Windows XP for their public computers, which is... I, I, I mean, I, I, you, you got to think, though, like, you're going to have a hard time running this on, like, modern hardware, so it's got to be an old-ass computer. Yeah. I didn't say, it doesn't have to be a new computer. They, they could be the bitching um, Voodoo 2. Right, yeah. right, right. Oh. Robot Racers from Autospace. Where's Autospace? Yes. Located? So, uh, you know, the, earlier we had a spell cart that totally looked like... <laughs> Uh, super text card, and now we have another one, but this one seems to have a bit less textures. So it is a kart racing game uh, where you basically create your robot and away you go. It is. It follows the exact same uh, Super Tux and uh, Mario Kart formula. Like the low poly you say, I can listen to you, Grandpa. This reminds me of like Virtua Racing. A little bit. I yeah. played Virtual Racing. <laughs> I did too. Man, I had it on the Genesis because uh, I, I take that back. We rented it because it was like 120 pounds. <laughs> back when you know, back when game rentals were a thing, you had yeah. you had a weekend yeah. to get as far as you could in that game. And but even like the track selection uh, screenshot, I'm looking at that. It's like, yeah, that background looks very Tuxcardy. Uh, but yeah, it is on itch.io. It is available for Linux. You could just uh, download it. Whatever is, uh, it, it's not a big game. It's uh, 31 megabytes. So yeah, no, you can absolutely just. It looks like a really old version of Super Tuxcard. Come on. <laughs> hey, it's made on Godot though. <laughs> Or Godot. Yeah, it is. That that's the big difference here is it is made in Godot, so that's good to see. I wish more people would use it. Um can't remember the name of that uh, 2D Castle uh, Metroidvania type of game that we threw chairs at. That was also made in Godot. I downloaded Something it, light. I tried it, I took the Pepsi <laughs> challenge. Um it runs pretty decently. I read it in a little seven twenty P window because that's what it launched in, and that's all the Fox says is gonna give to it. Um <laughs> it had a couple of like performance hiccups of like uh, something was getting cached or rendered you know but then again i only have a little 2060 thread rubber but um as far as the way it controls it it it's a lot smoother and plays a lot smoother than that 30 fps video that they have on their web page um, um but like speaking of tux cart before they fixed it remember how uh like your uh contact with the ground and tux cart of old was just sliding around on a sheet of ice Yes. Sure. <laughs> Those days are back, baby, if you've missed them. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, like I said, it looks like a very old version of Super Dark card. But, yeah, uh, on, I suppose, uh, to something that's a bit different, this is the Kestrel Game Engine. And uh, it's on GitHub. You can download it, you can build it. And the project itself is centered around uh, getting basically those old Macintosh, like classic Macintosh games, getting those I don't to work a in a multi-platform. Falcon reference in this, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> it's uh, Castle, not Kestrel, but yeah. Uh, the... <laughs> The, I, I, I mean, uh, I mean, there, there's there's a, there's a Kevin Bacon esque way because the Kestrel room is for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Kestrel's the ship in FTL, which is inspired by the Millennium Falcon. So there you go. Ah, ah. Oh <laughs> shit! Yes, uh, three Wait, degrees the, of separation yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah uh, I, I Kevin Baconed it, man. Dude, dude, you just got you just pulled out like a fucking <laughs> pro level. Well, actually, right there. <laughs> You're, Ah. Yep. <laughs> completely made up we, well actually but yeah Pedro uh, is really. doing this like amateur WWE slap fight and Jordan just came in man, and like I, fucking I just smoking fucking shit behind him he's like yeah what's up way tied need you both of the health and the fucking solar flexes yeah <laughs> made up but yeah no, it, it, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's cool just, okay uh, my favorite thing right now Pedro wants with every fiber of his body to fucking argue at this point he really does not really he can't help himself. He's vibrating. <laughs> look, look, look at that. It's totally not added in post if either. If I wanted to argue that, I would have. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I can't hear you over the vibrations. Yeah, They're too loud. Calm down, Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with the guy with the tools. <laughs> I will always. I'm win. not. <laughs> Again, that's my point. I'm Vibrate, not. damn it. 
More, more, more vibrating, Pedro, man. No, but it, 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 it's cool. Uh, again, more, more game preservation stuff. There's a lot of these old, um, old Macintosh games that you know you can't run them on new Macs anymore because yep. you know f- <laughs> fuck gaming on Macintosh. So now you can run them on Linux with an open source engine. That's what nice. are you talking about, man? Uh, yeah, People the, are going to look back thing. at current Making Macs them- right now and think of them as the good old days. Yeah, like and making the whole thing multi-platform and yeah, just whatever you can throw at it, it will run it. And there's a bunch, yeah, like Jordan said, there's a bunch of those games out there right now that people just straight up can't play anymore. Hmm. So, yeah, I, I I do like that they don't have metal support, but they also don't have Vulcan support, which is a little sad. But no, you know, they're two they're two D games. <laughs> what, what, what do you want? Wrong, wrong hand. I can't do it with the paper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, yeah. So uh, this next one is it, it, it's it's a little weird. Um, it's a little different, man. It is uh, a little bit. You ever, you ever want to like administer your Kubernetes cluster in in Minecraft? Because n- now no, you. But show me how. <laughs> now you can. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, now they they have uh, they have a thing you can run. It connects to your Kubernetes cluster, and it will represent the objects running in Kubernetes as um, what, what was it? Um, pig pigs are pods, cows are replica sets, chickens are services, and horses are deployments. Uh, and you know it'll it'll just like show it'll populate um, it'll populate the farm you little you set up with you know the horses, pigs, cows, and chickens. And I don't know. It seems kind of neat at first, but at the same time, I kind of wish they went further. Right, like. I want to be able to destroy pods by killing pigs or chickens. I want to be able to like <laughs> set up deployments with redstone and like set up persistent volume claims and shit. I think this needs to go further than the the the, the, the process management thing they have going on here. It's still it's still really cool, but like the the potential man. Well, I mean, yeah. do you think they'll be able to add RTX support? Uh, no, because <laughs> Minecraft doesn't have RTX support. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Uh, the uh, Windows version, the, the .NET version does, the ben, uh, ben Java Ro- version, does it, not. it has, yeah, it has uh, just path traced support <laughs> that the community introduced. Yeah. But no, uh, MT uh, uh, brought up the uh, PS Doom comparison in Discord uh, earlier in the week, and it is absolutely that's a very apt comparison because yeah it, instead of doom uh it's minecraft because minecraft is far more relevant nowadays and uh instead of being local processes they're kubernetes cloud containerized processes uh. <laughs> well yeah you uh, poor, do poor baby to. has to run something in a docker container my heart you breaks for you to then. start it from the container uh otherwise Motherfucker, we are yeah. dangerously close to a generation that only knows how to run shit from a docker container I'm, i mean here's the thing though if you're running shit in kubernetes you're already running docker so it's kind I of the whole still shtick. About it, baby. <laughs> you absolutely can. Just did. <laughs> I'm not stopping you. <laughs> didn't didn't even stand a chance, baby. Uh, Burning Night, man. This is a good idea. This is what I like to see. Um, somebody, what's his name? Um, Igor Dor- Dorvachev. All right, let's go with that. That sounds great. He released a game, and you know it was a hipster pixel like Binding of Isaac minus the uh, Binding of Isaac part, but same idea. Released it on Steam, didn't get a big reception. Why? Well, it kind of looked like all the other ones that were out there. But instead of taking his pixels and going home, he decided to release the source code for his game, Burning Night, and it's available on GitHub. It is C sharp. This thing started life in Java, but he's like. Pay no attention to that. And, you know, it's all there. And you definitely see just reading through his post on GitHub that he's like, don't give me too much shit about that, which I understand. You never want to share your code. I get that. I understand those feels. It can be embarrassing because, you know, more likely than not, you did some embarrassing shit. But at the end of the day, it works. That's all that matters. All the haters can go fuck themselves thinking it's been a pull request and you can ignore it. Please. Well, I mean, I mean that 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 was, that was it, right? Like the guy says in this post that this game wasn't financially doing well on Steam. Uh, it became a lot of like, hey, lots of bug fixing and whatnot. And eventually, he lost the desire to maintain it. So I I really do like this trend of people releasing the sauce for their old games, especially if they didn't sell well, because at the very least, like it's something someone can take this game and work off it, or look at it as an example, or do whatever they want with it. Um, but the important thing is now that that knowledge is out there, people can use it, learn from 
from everyone else's mistakes. There's so much compartmentalization of knowledge, you can especially take a in peek game. It. I mean, I, yeah. that's what I don't understand. What what is the benefit? Especially single player games. I'm just going to throw make this as an easy, very easy game example. What's the benefit for not releasing the source for any game? That's like. That's, but my IP, bruh. It's my no, IP. Not, not your Right. You can go buy the fucking assets like anybody else. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know. But, there, there, there seems oh, to open, be well, open source is communism, man. That's just how it is. There seems to be, besides you know the whole Microsoft, yeah, open source is communism. Uh, the hey, Epic, um, here's a great idea: force every developer who releases on your platform to release the source code for the game after five years. Sweeney, it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, after you pay them like two million dollars each, yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you suck on the teeth. <laughs> you you make with the code. <laughs> It would actually be a sound investment, but I don't think companies see it like that because my IP, bro, my IP. Listen, that dude's got apples to eat. <laughs> and PS5s to sell. Shut up. I like Sony <laughs> and Microsoft because we're in partnership. Apple, bad. <laughs> Because they don't partner with I'm us. I'm pretty sure uh, Microsoft please, already cut them a deal. Please, please. I know we have some animators uh, and friends and family at the show. We, we need the James Hatfield fire bad metallic ops, but with Sweeney, with Apple bad. Give me a few, give me fire, give me dabba dabba dabba. <laughs> yes. We, we need the epic thing, and he can ride around in his little rocket car. <laughs> Shit writes itself. I didn't put any thought in it. I was like, holy shit, that'd be easier to do. <laughs> what, 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 it's, it's, it's just like the tasty like, uh, yogurt video where like instead of like flying away on a pigeon, they just no, fly no, on no, a rocket no, no. Oh, no, you, Okay, you see, like, Sweetie's going to be Lars. <laughs> uh, okay. He's going to have the chubby. He's going to like kick in like, you know, uh, a random lug where everyone's playing like Rocket League. And, like, oh, Pokemon. so he just follows the music video and it's Tim Sweetie There's instead of Lars. Music. Where okay. are we getting this music video from? There is no music video. <laughs> what am I thinking no, it's, of? Then? It's it's the Tim Sweeney cover of Enter Sandman, uh, I guess. <laughs> which I'm positive exists. <laughs> the guy did his no. uh, Halloween Enter Sandman um, video. You know the guy, light house light guy. Oh yeah, yeah. The internet knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, go check that out. That was actually well done. Introducing, can we call it Vercadia? Vercadia. Open source desktop VR metaverse. Greetings. I'm a member of the team. We've been doing a lot of work. It's a pubic release. Um, We've decided to start with the Linux community since currently we're targeting the more technically minded users first, which is code for shit's got a broke right now, yo. Um, It's a concept. What is it? Well, it's a metaverse. It's 3D chat, scripting capabilities, no fixed purpose. Um, You've seen Second Life VR chat. Whatever the hell Neo okay. VR is, all right, that's thing. <laughs> Just like Reddit provides base. Da, 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 da. Here's a screenshot. What it looks like. We're looking at a screenshot. It's a Look, furry. Yeah, there's of course, a furry. <laughs> naturally, hundred percent. You knew that was coming. Um, I would have guessed that. Where did it come from? Well, you know, the makers of Second Life. They they left the company some years ago and they formed High Fidelity Spiritual Successor. Da 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 da. They shut it down in January. The company still exists. So they started a new project, confusingly kept the same name, despite being extremely fortunate and whatever. At the end of the day, they ended up controlling the project. They've rebranded it uh, with a more confusing name because that's smart. Something about COVID and there's a GitHub. What makes it special? Linux, guys. We've said that like 11 times already. Do you get it? Portable. It's open source. Decentralized. Distributed. It's like a list of shit. That's going to make this just not usable in any meaningful way. VR support, because you know where VR lives, motherfuckers, on Linux. You got that right. Uh, both of us. Un unrestricted. So, okay, this is my problem. Unlike, you know, Second Life, we no limits on anything. Okay, so it's completely unhinged, like, off the fucking rails. So, so hey, hey. Hang on. Pe people, people who bought VR headsets... <laughs> need something to do with them if they bought them for Linux, right? Like, so this is, this is it provides that if 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 you if you wanna if you wanna like dick around in like Blood Orgy Simulator 2019, is that that's not going to be the problem. <laughs> it, it's going to be the uh, illegal in every fucking country known to Earth Prawn Dungeon Simulator 2019 mm. immediately. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the second oh, you there's have no, no limitations restrictions except yeah. for that one. You know what? Well, yeah. You know what? Ninety nine percent of the people can be cool. <laughs> But it's going to get that 1% that's like, they're going to go there. 100%. 
Yeah, that won't take yeah. any time at all. Because <laughs> you, you're going to be dealing with the people that look at Second Life and go, that's too restrictive. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, people who can pretend to have sex while uh, their avatar is an airship? No. <laughs> well, uh, are wait, are, are wait, you wait, telling wait. me no, you no, don't no, want to no. fuck an airship? Yeah, exactly. Keep, you, keep you, you don't play going. Guns of Icarus. Do not tease me like that. <laughs> you don't play Guns of Icarus and you say, damn, I just want to fuck that ship. In Second Life. <laughs> I want to be like the Rocketeer, but with more sexy airship time. <laughs> but the rocket is my penis. <laughs> That's the thing, man. Let's go check out their website, see what they got going on. Um, do they have a website yet? There's scre- oh, more screenshots. Let's go to screenshots. That's there are better. more screenshots. <laughs> there are an imger. <laughs> so imger. can you just like make the worlds? Um, yeah. There's uh, oh, that NLP. is part of the point. Yeah, basically, uh, you. Besides creating okay, your own avatar, you can also create content. Really, 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 we got the Star Trek uniform. MLP. <laughs> yeah. Star Trek uniform, mm-hmm. there's a pony, there's a furry, there's okay. the anime character. Real question. There's Real question. I want to be the seagull. Robot. Motherfucker, I want to be the boat. <laughs> I want to know who the boat is. <laughs> oh, the old dad? That's the name of the boat, so I guess that... Yeah. <laughs> Startup Asia X, and... Ah, uh, people, we are gathered here today with my what, parrot... What, what, an eye robot and yeah what, what, wasn't that dude in like a crazy frog video the dude on the very right i guess <laughs> i don't know man um i genuinely i wish them the best of luck i just don't understand like they they're clear yeah, vercadia they, it's the first link it, <laughs> they yeah, have yeah. clearly walked out and said we do not have a fucking business plan right now right now it's purely fuck all let's see if we can get something going so yeah if you want to go to vercadia.com Go check it out. Make some friends and uh, experience possibly abject horror on your first experience. And you don't need a VR headset, but yeah, you can have that experience if you do have one. <laughs> um, I expect Scott to give us a report next week on the show. <laughs> no, MT, I know MT yeah, has a VR headset or head, but so but here's 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 the thing though. They're gonna go in and they're never gonna come out. They're gonna cipher. They're gonna cipher this shit, man. <laughs> Like I said, I expect Scott to give us a full report next week. <laughs> and, and then dive back into the Matrix? No, I'm All trying right. to throw left for Dredd. Um, uh. If there's no Scott, we're always going to win. <laughs> I see. All right, well, coming up next. I don't know. I don't have an art of rally pun. Something, something, Sun Tzu. Fuck something, something. Said. Welcome back to the Chairquisition, where apparently we drive around in circles. He can take a poop. Look, look at look at tapes. I guess sure. I wish I could take a poop. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this week we're taking a look at the Art of Rally by Fun Selector, done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about twenty four ninety nine US. What is it? Race in the golden era of rally. Drive iconic cars from the sixties to Group B on challenging stages through stylized environments inspired by real world locations. Will you master the art of rally? Uh, we gotta thank uh, Fun Selector for sending us some keys uh, so that we can take a look at that. Let's get into it again. Once be- once again, because Pedro, determined to speak first, has rated this game higher than this. Any of us, so. For for the end of days, this is, will be a common thing. Pedro will find some redeeming. Until we get to the one game that I just don't. <laughs> it makes like six but, folders in your home directory. Yeah. <laughs> See what we what we need to do is like hold our chairs until right before we go time. Yeah. Ooh. I usually mm. put it there. I'm usually the first one to yeah, write my bit. You just throw three. Review. You're just throwing three down for safety. Yeah. Go either way. It's it's a safety but, yeah. chair. The um, uh, over here on KDE Neon, it launched out of the box with the Ryzen 7 3700 X into GTX 1080. It barely holds 53 FERPs at 2560 by 1440. Listen, man, with everything on 11, pink is an expensive <laughs> color to render. It's not real, yeah, clearly. But uh, the yeah, this isn't exactly a graphical juggernaut, so I do wonder where all that performance is going. The DualShock 4 worked out of the box, no issues. And uh, trust me when I say that you will want to use a controller because the keyboard uh, controls are bad. They're bad. How much time uh, did you I just play... trying to run people over? Be honest. I, fucking, uh, I flipped through it because I, I flipped through it. They just dodge. Yeah, <laughs> I, I want to say I got one, but I don't have video evidence. 
Yeah, but yeah, no, I play uh, Need for Speed World with a keyboard, and I play Dirt Rally for a lot of a long time with the keyboard. Those games are perfectly fine. This ain't. Maybe you know, if I had the steering wheel, the pedals, and the shifter, uh, it'd be even better than with the controller. But at that point, I'd be pretty annoyed that there isn't a cockpit or like top of the hood uh, type of view. No, that that that's the the one that you're looking at. The video version's all you get. That's the closest you can get, and I. I suppose that brings me into the fun which you know it, mechanically speaking it does a very good job of presenting you with the challenge to drive cars that go from underseer to overseer and back to underseer very quickly in the exact same turn that's a fancy it's, way of saying the shit fish tails all of them oh uh, yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah i've Honestly, never driven any of these cars at any kind of speed IRL, so I'm most certainly talking out of my ass. The closest I got was driving a actual uh, Austin Mini in Portugal, uh, in the countryside, dodging some trees, admittedly going uh, faster than I should have, but did I did the, it successfully. Uh, police ever recover it? <laughs> <laughs> did you find the tapes? The police never got involved, thankfully. Uh, but yeah, no, I, so, you know, since that is my experience and I went into Dirt Rally with that same experience in mind and I played with the Mini and I liked that a lot. So I saw the Mini uh, in this particular game and I saw, well, an opportunity to maybe at least learn the game by something that was easy to drive. Nope. That car uh, being the one uh, front wheel drive car that I could see in the whole game is just stupid. I, contrary to every other racing video game up to this point, uh, the, the one front wheel drive car is impossible to drive around at any kind of speed and make the turns you with any kind like of any reliability. Other cars are different. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Even the rear-wheel drive cars in this game, like this BMW that's on video right now, so much PMW. easier to drive. Also, so how many times easier. did that make you think that the fucking game like dropped out of full screen? Right, a yeah, couple of times, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, the um, I could have actually put in the extra time to learn uh, how to you know drive all the cars in this game but honestly when i'm stuck with the helicopter view the whole time and i can't either have like the close-up of the rear of the car or the cockpit view or the hood view honestly i feel like my immersion is taking a bit of a hit because i don't ever feel like it yeah i'm driving this car no i just feel like oh i'm just some asshole on the internet that's sitting down uh playing a video game it's, it's like spy hunter got hold of the watercolors it is <laughs> and uh i get that maybe you know having the camera limitation be like that it's an artistic choice like it is with uh making the one for uh forward wheel drive car uh completely uh, uncontrollable <laughs> to put it lightly uh it is an impressive game especially given that it's a one person job uh, and if you read into the story of how uh, fun selector spent a year two years driving around the u.s uh developing the game from a back of a van effectively uh, while learning everything that he could about rally it's like yes that's very impressive and you managed to make a very uh Made considerable game, game. Uh, but it the the big problem is it it's not fun well the racing is not fun the free roam bit i actually enjoyed i enjoy the free roam a lot i might actually go back and just go around doing all of the free roams in all the different places but that w that's where i found my enjoyment because the actual racing that all that could get was a resounding meh out of me so it gets two chairs yeah, so uh, I, I guess I'll go next because mine's really short and sweet. Uh, on Fedora 32, 64-bit with the uh, R9 3900X. Don't got that 5950X because I'm a peasant, apparently. Yeah, man. Uh, How do you expect to play this with such a chump-ass car, man? I mean, I mean, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, with the, with the 1080 Ti, it only holds about, like, it struggles to hit, like, 50 frames a second at UHD. Uh, it's a lot better at 1080p. Uh 
so you're probably going to want to be playing that in uh, in reduced resolution if you have a UHD display like myself or Ven or Pedro. Um, the controls are fine, I guess. Yeah, everything fucking fishtails like crazy. Uh, I just assume that's just how these cars drive because I don't drive real cars. I don't know how to operate motor vehicles good. Come on, man. So, you got to take over a bus one day to see how it feels. What? <laughs> just, just hijack a bus like Keanu GTA Reeves, style? Man. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, the, it's it's actually kind of pretty in a minimalist sort of way. I kind of dig the textureless appearance. Uh, it kind of gives it kind of a relaxing look. Um, but that pop-in, though, man, it makes the Nintendo Switch Pokemon games look like they load all the resources in an effective The pop-in and the pop-out. It'll pop stuff out of the camera just because, oh, you can't see that anymore. No, I can yeah. still see it. Everything oh, yeah, no, pops it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it, it's it's bad. It's like not even from a distance. It's shit directly next to you will yeah. pop in. Um, but yeah, fun wise, I mean, it's it's pretty boring. I mean, so when you get, you get into the game, you have to like it. It does the thing where like, oh, set your options, blah blah blah, which is I don't know. I'd rather just have a menu to let me do that. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna miss. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, at, at first it, dro it drops you into their tutorial, which is just like a free room where you can drive around and look for tapes or take photographs or find letters like Donkey Kong. Um, and yeah, once you get tired of that, you get you hit quit and you're like, oh, there's actually like a racing game in here, too. OK, uh, you, you, you trip me up their game uh, and the racing. Um, I guess it's it's racing. I don't know. I'm going to defer to Ven or Pedro on this because as someone who does not really like racing games, this isn't doing anything stunning to like, I don't know, change my opinion on it. Uh, it yeah, like like this, this looks pretty, but I mean, I'm not really enjoying driving around. Uh, it's not really giving me anything. It could use some blue shells. That's for sure. One chair. <laughs> All right. So, um. I, I can't be like the bad guy. It was a great game for now. Let's, let's talk about how it ran over here. Um, I'm going to say out of the bad, um, this game is a very late entrant in the 2020. How the hell does it perform? So bad awards. <laughs> um, we have a 2060 and I, I, I understand my limitations. I wasn't trying to run this thing at UHD. I was like, Hey, I'll do it at 1080 like the peasant. I am. Nah, at 1080 on high, I was rocking like maybe a solid 43 to 50 if I was lucky, depending on what shit was popping on on the screen at the time. I had to roll back the graph, this graphical juggernaut that we're all seeing. Now, admittedly, I like the look of it. I like the art style, but I had to dial it back to minimum, medium in order to maintain 60 plus. It's about 60 to 90. Excellent controller out of the box. It rumbled. It did the rumble dance. Good on that. I like to see that, which I was able to play. But we're going to talk about the fun because. To be honest with you, like how this game starts, as my colleagues have said, you just get dumped into this free roam thing. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? What's got what am I supposed to apparently I was supposed to be able to find a van and helicopters that I couldn't fly? I know that I spent eight minutes going, what the fuck's the point of I would have just returned the game right then, but I couldn't do that. Couldn't do that. I also um, I started it again and found, hey, look, there is a game, kind of like Jordan, behind here. And um, let's get into this. Not a huge rally fan, but I got to give it a try, man. I was giggling a little bit, man, with these, like, early 60s uh, uh, rally cars that were just, like, poof, 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 just, like, spitting with the backfires. Like, they had ALS. That's, like, the anti-lag system for turbos, which they didn't fucking have. That was, that, that was funny. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but, okay, whatever. Now, this does come from the creator of the top-down, untextured drifting game, Absolute Drift. Well, he's created a top-down, untextured drifting game, and that's what we have here. That's what you're seeing in front of you. If you're listening, you're sliding around on a little trick. You may know, as I said, man, I'm a huge fan of arcade racing. Hard Rally should be right up my alley because it's based on moon physics, best I can tell. Now, alas, um, I tried. You know, I put almost an hour into this, and I just couldn't find a way to make it entertaining. I try not to have a bad time with any game. I sit back and we're, we're going to make ourselves laugh, have some fun, break it in some unique way. Didn't happen. Um, even with like regular rally games like Dirt, the original Dirt, we have a copy of that on Linux. It's native. Not a huge fan of it, but with Dirt, I could understand it. I could understand. I can see how somebody can get addicted to that series because even if you're not terribly into, you know, rally racing or... Um, 
inside dirt there's like a car management sub game it's there to be played you know and like you can just modify every last little thing this this is like you slide from what you're seeing pedro do slide from a to b you get a new car repeat learn the new car slide from a to b get a new car repeat now i do need to point out that this is five dollars more than dirt and you know art of rally is uh go oh. I don't know if it's on the same level. Pedro, you're, you're my racing fam. Where would you stack this? This comes across as like, uh, I think, Jordan, did you say a Zen game? <laughs> yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Like, especially with the free roam segment where like you're just looking for stuff. Yeah, yeah it feels it feels like kind of a chill out game. I, mean, I like, can that's see what... that, man. Um, yeah, and clearly the free roam, at least for me, it that's where all the fun went into. It's like, oh, you just get to explore. You get to drive around. You don't really have to care about the physics because it's free roam. You're not racing against anyone. You're not racing against the AI. You're just running around. That's fine. That's great. I like that. <laughs> well, I did what I could with it. Um, I want to say at the end of the day, um, Thanks, man. Uh, I'm glad you made a game. You did a fuckload more than the three of us did. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks no, again for the review game. copy. And I'm it's not about, a bad game at all. It. Pedro got muted. Um, seems to have, you know this game has found an audience, which I think is good because you go look on the Steam page and the review page, a lot of people really dig it. That makes me happy, man, because people can see this. I might not get it, but other people like it's my jam, man. Maybe they are zinning out to it. Maybe they've always wanted to. Um, rally race from the view of a helicopter that's cool. maybe maybe they just want s smooth living because no textures well and <laughs> well maybe they have like a 3090 too so they could do it at uhd yeah but it's not very smooth because the frame rate currently <laughs> well between that and the smooth I found operator it, uh, at the end of the day it's just got it didn't have any depth to it you know this is it this is it this is like drive between the lines it's paint between the lines the game and learn how each car slides in a slightly more or less fucked up way than the previous one. And um, that just made it unnecessarily difficult. I, I didn't have a fun time with it, man. But again, I, I'm glad some people dig it and it's there and people seem to like it. But yeah, yeah. not 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 my cup of rally. No, 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 I like I, I, I don't know. Usually you, I'm not one for like adding gimmicks to games, but yeah. I, I guess the racing is definitely rather lackluster, and you know, just I don't, I don't know. It's it doesn't really do it for me. Here's there, there's like a, there's a very narrow like scope of racing games that I can I think enjoy. With this is rally games because it's it's all time trial. I I mm. want like rally combat where there's other people on the dirt. Sort of, sort of like, <laughs> sort of like burnout, where like part of the part of the racing game is you want to destroy your other competitors. All right, because yeah. we're just racing against other people's times. So like maybe I, I get more motivated even if there's like a ghost. Yeah. Like, okay. If that's there's that's a ghost, so right. you can a spoopy ghost. try and improve uh -huh. yourself. Yeah. Cool. Well, it's a spoopy game. This is that's part of. See, look, we're, we're keeping. Uh, they're they're, the they're scared. They're running. <laughs> they're invisible <laughs> ghosts in this game, though, so they're even more scarier. <laughs> <laughs> they're all still played by Patrick Swayze, though. All of them. <laughs> they're all dragons. Uh, all right, coming up next, we're going to talk about what Patrick Swayze would look like as a dragon and make some fun fan art. Now we're going to do some. Can, can I be a Swayze penny? No. And I think that was fairly disappointing of a, uh, a chair acquisition. I know it was for me. Why? Yes. <laughs> because I wanted to like that game. I really did. But I didn't. And I, I, I think did, Nicholas's uh, frown should be turned upside down. Yes, I'm, I'm scared. Use tongue. I'm honestly a little bit scared. I'll tell you what that is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's a man looking over there and he's like, Nori's been trying to poison me. Blink twice. <laughs> I, I bet I'm you find bucks cooks, though. <laughs> you, you know it'd be hilarious if someone snuck into Pedro's house and just made like a little, a little glory hole behind that so that when he takes it out there's just like a little hole there like a little alien <laughs> thing came out and like chomped at him yeah <laughs> well, there's a fridge on the other side of that well, hole uh, but... then I, I said glory hole not gory hole <laughs> it's true ah. And if you're on Steam, you can disable both of those filters in the exact same page. But if you'd like to let us know which page you disable your Where the fuck's that in the overlay? I, I gotta get looking. Um, 
I, I don't. Well, you can't access it from the overlay from the Steam browser. No, I, it, I, I want a it, it, Gory Hole overlay. It, right? it, <laughs> it, it, it's a command line option. You do Steam dash dash Gory Hole. Okay. <laughs> Run, so do, yeah, if you'd like to show us your gory hole, please don't. <laughs> you can go to LinuxGameCast.com. You hit the contact button, and you fill out the form. If you're a game developer, and after watching the uh, the the Charcosition, uh, you'd like to send us keys for some reason. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry, but I, I will lie and say that I am. Uh, you, make sure to include three keys or something that we can all play, because if you don't, well, you saw what happened last week. Uh, so, yeah, you, you, please you can sming it. <laughs> I, I, I guess you can't sming it yet. One of my favorite things to do, uh, we're able to provide tech support, easily, easily Googleable tech support. On a delay, sometimes up to an entire week or even a month. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. this is one of the um, you know benefits uh, we have. Uh, something I look forward to each and every week. But Josh, Josh saw a video that I made last year <laughs> because I couldn't get the goddamn Batman to run under Steam. That wasn't fixed until this year. So I installed Steam through Lutris, which is available at Lutris dot biz and um, dot ru. That are you, yeah. And uh, actually, I do have some. Okay, we we'll, next week. Remind me of that again. I, okay, okay. Oh boy! Oh yeah. boy! We can go places. But he's like, "Yo, man, Arkham Knight." So I I just did a recording. Like, hey, man, hey, internet, look, it's running. It's great, and you can do it. It's like I played the game on Popos with normal Steam for Linux. So the Proton setting, yes, the Proton setting. Mm-hmm. Played for four hours, then got a fatal error. Twenty twelve. Now I'm trying to install the game True, True Lutris. It starts, but still get another fatal error. Not not the 2012 one, though. But you know what, <laughs> motherfucker? I'm not going to tell you what that error is. Uh, would you like to play guesswork on your show? You didn't include that part, but this is the liberty we're taking. Any suggestions, Josh? <laughs> Josh. I like I mean- to imagine that this is Josh, the Josh we know. Pennywise? He- no, 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 no. A uh, Josh D. Walrus? The, the Wyoming. The, the, the one that hails from the Wyoming. Yeah, ah. the one that lives so far above uh, sea level that the air is really thin. Yes, Wyoming. On, the, on Mount Wyoming. Um, on- it's, uh, Wyoming's just a big square, but it's a very tall square. Yes. This is, this is fair, man. I don't know. I mean, it... Batman, did, you didn't see his thing. I mean, does it just, if it just crashes, you could be stuck at a crashy spot. It's a crashy yeah. boy, even with Proton. Like, I have not... Okay, I technically... I think I finished the game. I got through it. I powered my way through it. But, like, towards the end, it just got... Fuck you, crashy. Not as mm. bad as um, the Egyptian Assassin's Creed. That one got so bad. That one got Our so Jones. bad, like, six hours into the game. Like, after you got that fucking investment you know you've Man. done shit you've, you've started working on that character you've picked what path to spike crash after man I, I i'm so looking forward to brawlhalla because i got i got a free copy of that with the Ryzen, so it's gonna be fucking fun man uh but with this that could be what you're running into man i mean it's uh i got all the way through it to the real ending not the real ending apparently because apparently after you beat the game, the game's like, you didn't beat the game. Why not? Because you didn't capture all these motherfuckers. And that'll give you another 12 hours of bullshit that you don't want. Uh, that you uh, intentionally th- avoided on your way through the game the first time. So go have fun. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought you had to play it again, but this time has 9S. And then, then you have to that. play it again with A2 as well. That would be <laughs> fucked up. It's a Batman game, but then it turns out to be a near game. And Are you like- shit? <laughs> See, again, this is the game that I've asked for. I want, like, the fucking um, cyberpunk near. Like, dude, I, 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 give I, I me want, the Matrix I, I, I just, with that shit. Like that? I, oh, yeah. I, I, I want a straight-up playable Grant Morrison comic. That's what I want. Just like, <laughs> well, fuck they're your bringing, logic. Uh, they're bringing near Replicant uh, to PC. It's no longer a PS3 exclusive. Thank you, Sony. Finally. Yeah, it's going to be... Fucking... Uh, oh, God damn it. I mean, <laughs> here, 
there's my impression of old man Ben when that comes out. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know anything about Nier other than I was like, oh, it's a battle spectacle. Oh, well, here's what I knew about Nier. Um, sorry, Butts. Batman, uh, whatever. It didn't work. Sorry about that. Try harder. Um, <laughs> it's still too Lutris. Uh, but the only thing I knew about Nier was that it was platinum. And platinum tends not to make shit games. I'd, I'd say the worst that, game Platinum ever. They make the Bayonettas and the that one Transformers game. See, the one yep. you can't get. I, yeah. I, I went looking. Man. Man, motherfuckers, they, like, that was the one time I legitimately went to G2A and I was like, how much I gotta spend to get a key for this damn game? <laughs> 80 bucks. It's like, peace out. And, um, yeah. but no, I, I think, like, the slowest game Platinum ever made was, uh, like, Vanquished. Mm-hmm. It was a fucking cover shooter, but I mean, they did the best you possibly could with a fucking cover shooter. But um, I, I just love them for revengeance, Nano Machine Son. That game, <laughs> that game is just a fucking acid trip. <laughs> we look forward to the next near, more near, all the things. Uh, that game was uh, that, that was a fun game. So yeah, hope, hopefully we answered your uh, Batman question with that. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Go go play the rest of them. They all work. I've beat. Yeah, go play Near Automata. That's actually it's actually not bad. It's it's a really good game. You should if you haven't played it, you should. <laughs> All three times. On that robotic atomic shell Mata. But hey, butt shell. On that butt shell. Stay away from butt shells. Five dudes. That's right, beautiful people. If you want to get in touch with me, man, um, I'm just old man Vin at Vinstone on Twitter. Dot com. I think it's Twitter.com. That's where I'm at, at Ven at mast.linuxemcast.com. That's where I hang out. Hop in our Discord if you're a beautiful party patron. Uh, we are actually in our own Discord, unlike some hosts and other shows, which I might also be a part of their patron, and they're never in there chatting. That's where we go to talk shit to each other. So yes. enjoy that for what it is. I'm Jordan Spung. I guess I'm kind of the 2B of the Linux Gamecast crew because I got the best butt. You can find me at the Burning Fool on Twitter, maybe posting pictures of my butt. And I suppose I'm A2. I'm the one that just kind of shows up at one point and no one's entirely sure what the hell. But hey, uh, I'm Peter Mateos. You can find me at an accounted for on Twitter because. Yeah. <laughs> Are you posting pictures of your butt? Don't don't kid yourself, a motherfucker. Neither of these motherfuckers post anything on Twitter. So it's true. Yeah. <laughs> I, hey, I, re- I retweet I, stuff. I retweet and like stuff like stuff occasionally. <laughs> I try to make it a point. God damn it! Enjoy the credits. <laughs> yeah. That's that's what I call my every meal: throbbing beef traction. <laughs> As it goes down my throat. <laughs> that, that was my name in theater class. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, we got we got a brand new advisor. We got to thank Vigilant Viking, my favorite Ubuntu release. We got our executive producers, our Theron Empty, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Barb Ram, Daldius, Matt Geek, Scott, Frosty Claw, Haplo, and Mr. Fox Dugs, the only Tiki. And the rest of our producers, those lovely, lovely human beings like Dave S, Smashley G, Michael, Egal, you know Jolly, Topical fucking Guys. Alan, Mr. Alert, has a Twitter. He does. No shit. He's got like two posts on it from 2012. Excellent. <laughs> I, em, em, empty literally signed up for a Twitter account just so he had something to put in the lower Same third. Job. Berlin. Yes. Extraction. <laughs> Doja. Rubio. Oxford Zero. Coma. Iris. I guess we got one. Captain I, Zero. I guess we got to take Vigilant Nemo. Viking off the bottom. No, he's on top. He will forever a, be a, a bottom power. He's bottom. a power bottom and the Omega. As he's well a power bottom, just like PowerShell and Linux and Library TV at also, Mixed Pyramid. No emoji support for plungers. That's a shame. How else am I supposed to get like the plunger plants out of my- I was looking. I was looking for an emoji that was like, okay, plug plunger. Nope. <laughs> Firefox told me to go eat a dick. Man, how am I supposed to get the eggplants out of my toilet without a plunger emoji? Five dudes. <laughs>